Hey guys, Zulkaris here and welcome back to Night of Lotus. I almost called it Fire Emblem. That would have been an insult to this game because this game is way better than Fire Emblem. No, I will not stop saying that. But anyway, I was thinking a lot about my team comp, like off camera. And yeah, I think, I think I'm set now. I'm locked in. I will have five special characters plus these two plus an angel knight. I am going to try turning Ephidel into an angel knight, but if I fail, there's always a loss. Anyway, uh, I thought a lot about Alphonse here and I think I want him to be a knight. I think overall, not exactly knight, there is another class Dragon Slayer which I actually want him to be, but I think knight will be better for Alphonse here. Now I can go to the shop again for the big check something real quick. No, not higher. Spell book. Ooh. I have nightmare. Interesting. I have heal, but I don't really want Alphonse to be healing. I will, though, possibly buy for him. I was gonna buy for him a rapier, but I don't have the money. Oh well. What? does Alphonse actually use? The axe. I need to give him a short sword. Why? For movement. I did this for movement. And now let's go to Ardia. But first I should save because I made changes. We got through all the cutscenes and other stuff in the last episode which was a bonus episode so now we can go to idea yeah. and fight it out oh so I guess Cybill is going to be in my party sorceress beautiful solitary and wise the sorceress is experienced in casting elemental and high level bane spells. Weapon fan. So the sorceress is a special class that only Cybill has. Small mistakes won't hurt you. Remember to help your friends. And transferring stone is an enemy only item or I should say guest only item. Because what this does, if, for example, if I if suddenly go crazy and decide to kill Cybill for no reason, she won't actually die and instead use the transferring stone to get out of the battle. That way she will appear in the story like nothing happened. And what's this? Philosopher's Stone. Presented to spellcasters who effectively use area effect spells and defeat many, uh, defeat many foes. Required to become a siren. Okay. I will have to keep that in mind then. Uh, yeah, for a second there, I forgot what button to use. Okay, they are all on this side. So that means I need to put my front line here, actually. Mid-rangers go here. This is my back line. Hold on. Put you there, put you here. Oh, I can place you, but you're a liability, so I won't. I also need to prepare a second set of eight characters just because I will get to the reason why later, but I do have to prepare a second set of eight characters and I forgot something. 
Hold on, let me reset. I just realized something. I was supposed to do something off camera, but I completely forgot. And that was turned these two into clerics temporarily. Lawful and neutral. Okay, you don't have the you don't have the mana for it. But you can become a cleric, right? No? You don't have the intelligence for it. Okay. So we can wait just a little bit before pulling that trigger. That's good. That's good. I guess. But like I was saying, actually I think I will go to the shop and hire someone. There, oh, I don't have the money. There is a special character you can get by a weird way where you hire a female soldier, name her Deneb, and then turn her into a witch as soon as possible. But I guess I can't do that. Oh well, back to Ardia. Let's see now. Question, should I turn Alphonse into a temporary cleric? For the means. Let's do that. Also, I don't know what this metal sign means. Does this mean that Alphonse has been in that class once? Yeah, it does. So become a cleric temporarily. You have bad everything. I will show you guys, Alphonse is still in the front lines. I will show you guys what I'm trying to do as a cleric. No, and it's not get the heavenly soul emblem. Actually, I should probably look it up if I'm doing this right. Okay, I did some research on the emblem things. Change of party plans. Alos, welcome to the team. Because I am going to have to turn him into the Angel Knight. As much as I would like to turn Ephidel into one, the problem here is that at I thought I could just make these two flowers and let pictures be the two characters I'm going to get all emblems on. But the emblems for males and females are different enough that I should have one male, one female. So, Flowers, you are no longer going to get all emblems. Ellos is. And Lectures is still going to get all emblems. Speaking of all emblems, yep, I was right. I need some clerics. Speaking of clerics, organize. Okay, you can't become a cleric yet. Um, yeah, put you here. You know what? I will put the back line here and mid rangers over here. Let's go. Yes, start battle. Don't lag behind. I am actually going to let these guys come to me because I'm pretty sure. Okay, Sybil is going to go on ahead then. I'm going to let these guys come to me because I'm pretty sure these guys have hammers and axes. These guys have bow guns though. Alright, let's end turn and wait for the enemy to come to us.
there's also a three or four emblems I will never be able to get because it requires multiplayer. So unless I cheat that in somehow, that's just plain impossible. I'm also second guessing my choice to give Alphonse the cleric class because maybe I don't need it. I yeah, I probably didn't need to to do that. Ah well. Oh, I forgot how fucking slow the cleric class was. Yeah, let's try and focus down on this guy. Attack from behind, I can't reach, but that's fine, I can just do this. here I guess. This is where most of the guys are and this is where you'll probably be the most helpful. You move here. I just thought of something. I, I think I have an idea. Hold on. There's a reason why I did that. I have my reasons. There's a reason why I went back here. First of all, I, I gave up on Alphonse being the cleric class. But I will still keep him cleric for a different reason, to save up on an item I might get later. Now you can probably get to the cleric class later. And honestly I don't care that much about you because like I said, I made a last minute change where Alos will now become a permanent person on my team. Can I mark you somehow? Customize. Manual. Okay, this is good. I'm going to manually sort this right here. So these two, there will be five more. There will be Alos. Evidel is not going to be permanent, but he's here now. Flowros is going to be the Lich. And Lectures is just going to be the Lectures is going to be the ninja. And that would be it. These three plus five more. Including Alphonse and Ivana. Lock. Lock characters are not sorted. Select a character to unlock. Oh, I can lock my characters. I'm going to lock so far the guys that are that I decided will be in my A team. Yes. Now I have an idea. Can I use these items? I can't. So time for training mode. You'll see why. You and you. You two go here. Fairy girl, you stay there. Create team B. I'm going to put Alphonse and Ivana on team B just to show off their enemy colors. Start game. 
Yes. So here's what my plan is. If any more your troops get practice fighting against each other, battles are fought normally, but if characters die, they will not be lost permanently. Training is a good way to increase your troop strength. Now I have actually a reason for this. So, oh, I did not make Alfonso cleric in this side. Never mind. Item. Use a crown of intellect. Stat up. Sage's wisdom. I am going to end training because I forgot to check what your cleric level is. Requires mana 18, intelligence 28. What's your intelligence? 26. And what about yours? Mana 16, Intelligence 27. So you, both of you can use one more. I think I have that. Yep, you stay there. Create Team B. Again, showing off Alphonse colors. I am definitely going to play this game a lot once I'm done. Now, you use another crown of intellect. And you use a crown of intellect. Oh, I am out of crowns of intellects. Uh oh. Well, I guess that's the end of training then. I am going to need to speed run these two to priest. Okay, you can now become a cleric. Congratulations. And I just realized something. I don't have the proper healings, healing items. Well, there is one thing I can do. Chalma, you are temporarily demoted to soldier. Actually, no, that is dangerous. I'll tell you why later. You need to stay as a cleric because you can't kill people. Here, take your spells back. I am really indecisive when it comes to this game. I want to give your spells. You, take this. Hopefully, I can buy some extra spells later. Alright, let's go. Fight it out this time. Try this again. Alphonse is a ninja this time. Right? Yes, good. I keep forgetting how to get out of view mode. Leches and Thelma should both be over here with Leches spamming healing spells as much as possible. I wanna over here. You here. You go here. And finally you here. Begin. I won't lag behind and defeat all enemies. I'm going to end turn, let them come to me.
Of course, I do have to wait for Saibik to take her action and then in turn come to me and get whacked. If I don't want to make Alphonse a priest, then I can just do stuff with him later. And also if I don't want him to get all emblems. Yeah, I'm not going to get Alphonse all emblems because I checked the guide and turns out I'll need to beat the game multiple times to get all em emblems as Alphonse, possibly. All right, you are a ninja, you move here. Hang on, what? Ice field, okay. You move here. Shoot this guy. I guess I will need to get the sniper emblem later, but that's much easier to get actually. Some emblems are easier to get because you can get them in training mode, but even without training mode, some emblems are just easier to get overall. Alright, Lauros, Ice Javelin this guy. Will you accidentally hit Ivana if you Ice Javelin from here? One way to find out. You did not hit the Ivana, but you did hit the ground. Okay, no one's gonna get hurt this round. So, where is Leches? I never know how to pronounce her name. Just heal a random person. It doesn't matter who you're healing and why. Just heal. Stop asking questions at heal. Alright. Let's see what you do. Make your pathetic moves. Was that a crit? No, it was not. I don't think this game has crits. We already established that. Oh, attacking the mage. Get whacked. You were blocked. There is a certain time limit to one of the classes where you have to do it before a certain thing. It's not an actual time limit, but more like a like the longer you play the game with this guy in your team the more likely it will be that you will get a certain emblem or get a certain do a certain thing and it will end with and it will end with one of the classes being no longer available to you basically now question Can you hit multiple guys with ice field? You cannot. I will harm this guy first before I do anything else. Hold on. 
Ivana, can, I don't think it's a good idea to have Ivana hit that guy. Oh wait, you don't have the night certificate, do you? You do not. Let's go get the night certificate. Heal, I guess. Heal you. And you should heal Alphonse. Uh, later. You, you're my main healer, so you get to heal later. This is a bad place for an archer. This is also a bad place for an archer. I'll stay where I am and instead just shoot someone. Like you. I will move here and crack crash on this girl to end her life, basically. Now I did notice that getting the object of desire, her emblem gives better treasure, so it is something I would want for everyone to have. Book of Initiation Emblem Acquired. Hey, I can hit you from behind. You left yourself open. To Alphonse. Move here. Alright, who needs the most healing. I'll just heal Alphonse because why not? He took the most damage even though he doesn't need the most healing. I might grind out some... You know what? I'm going to grind out some random encounters off camera for some specific emblems. And also to speed run some things. Now see the best part of having a Hawkman Archer is that when they get surrounded like that, you can simply fly away. Big mistake, hitting Alphonse from the side. Okay? Maybe it wasn't as big of a mistake as I thought it was. Oh, that's the one with the rapier. Okay, so now you Thunder Flare. Did you just steal my kill? You did not. This is the weak one. I am going to fly here. And shoot you from behind. From behind. Where is 
you can't reach this bag neither can you hmm. well i'm not going to let that bag get stolen from me so take this instead Stone of Swiftness, Embodiment of Desires. There we go. That's one emblem. I will stay where I am and use Crack Crush. To end this man. I don't know if there's a bag there or not. I'll go here anyway. And who could use some extra healing? Myself actually. Sorcerer's Cup. I don't know what that does. I will actually take my turn with you later. First, I need to kill you. Let's go, Night Emblem. Move here. Alphonse, seal yourself. Well, it's not... Alphonse isn't the one doing the healing. So what I suggest then makes no sense. My brain doesn't work sometimes, okay? I definitely need to farm a bit. Farm some specific emblem, specific classes. I forgot there was a fairy there. I mean, they are pretty sucky, so it doesn't matter actually. See, three damage. Pretty sucky. They are targeting my squishies. Sybil? Okay, you did nothing. Well, I'll have Alphonse move here and attack you then. And I wanna can attack this one from behind. Can't crack crash anymore. I can ice jab them though. Excuse me, what was your name? I thought I saw something. Grenade, okay. I thought it was something dumb. Yeah, I do low, lower damage in water. At least these guys don't have like a ton of healing items
Now I wonder if I can shoot you without hitting Ivana. I can. I need healing. Move away, heal myself. Face a different direction. Yes, I'm still trying to farm the Heavenly Spirit Emblem. I wonder if I have to heal other people instead of myself to get it. I should start healing other people starting from next to phase. There's plenty of other people to heal. Nice block. Okay, you use air blade instead of that big AOE and you missed. Thanks a lot for that, I guess. You stay there. Heal you. I still didn't get the emblem I wanted. That's fine, I guess. I can longsword you to death. And I can shoot you as well. I will get a little closer so as to not hit Ivana by accident. Attack you. Ah, finally got the night certificate. Oh, I just realized something. I can Check HP easier this way. Okay, you can use some healing. Elos. Is uh, Elos even in range? He is not. In that case, heal you instead. I need to use crack crush here for the 100% accuracy and to score the kill. Hopefully that bag doesn't get stolen. Good, you stood where you were. That bag is not going to get stolen then. Yeah, this side, guys on this side could use some extra healing. Sp 
spiteful out of me. Alright. Move here. Heal Alphonse. Heal you, I guess. Yeah, you could really use the healing, actually. Move here. Crab Crush will do a lot of damage if I attack you. Time to murder. Go attack this guy. With the shield, so you get... No wait, you already have the knight certificate. So just kill. Definitely need... Hold on, can I kill that guy somehow? Ice field? No, that's the water. Fly there instead. Alright, hopefully my treasure doesn't get stolen. My treasure did not get stolen. Okay, you pick this up and uh, kill someone, I guess. I don't know who. Yeah, sure, that works. There, embodiment of desires. Got it. So you get to move here now because suddenly Savage Buggle, I don't know what that does. Oh, no crack crash. But I can ice javelin.
fonte. Oh, yeah, I finally got the sniper emblem. Heal Alphonse, I guess. Like, who else are you going to heal? Time to murder. Now don't steal that. Okay, I don't think that item is going to get stolen. All of the people I've decided to make permanent additions to my team, they all need embodiment of desires. They all need that item. I mean that emblem. Because apparently it increases the quality of treasure you get. So, better stuff is better stuff. Pick this up. Ooh, crown of intellect. Was looking for that. I wonder, you still have 27. Okay, you are a candidate for the crown then. You get to die now. Can I wanna get there? Does I wanna even have an embodiment of desires? She does not. So go over there and pick this up. Sword emblem. Time for a back attack. Okay, you're the only one left, but first... Heal Saibil in an attempt to farm as much healing as you can. Heavenly Spirit? Nope. Did not get it yet. I remember you getting it, so let me check the requirements actually. Okay, does not say how many times I need to heal people exactly. I'll probably get a chance to... Oh, I accidentally thought Sybil was an enemy and was about to shoot her. Alright, Fidel, can you hit this fairy with the great bow? You have 70% chance, get the kill. You got the kill. Only 100, huh? And a healing leaf. I do not remember this cutscene. Sabin, who are you and where are we headed? Would you mind explaining our current situation? I'm sure my comrades are also wondering. I serve the charge of Lotus. That's the mark of the Pope. Oh, you recognize it? Listen, to the west is the Tinia region. Most of the land there is forest and swamp. It's known as the paradise of the beasts. According to a map I saw, Ansar is to the south and Ranakula is to the north, right? Yes, we are heading northwest to Urutela Cape. At the foot of the Milia Chris Mountains, it's at the far western reaches of the island and home to the only city in Tinia, Urudela Cape. What's there? The island was once home to many mermaids. Before the humans migrated here, they used to appear on the beaches and small islands. But nowadays, only a few remain and they live in the western sea. You're looking for a mermaid? Why would someone from the charge be and that mark on your hand. I can't believe the rumors were true. 
I've heard that there are loyal members of the Church of Lourdes who have the mark of the Pope somewhere on their bodies and that they are acting in secrecy to restore the authority of the Pope. Interesting story. So there are those people who still fear the Pope regaining power. At Gallias, the center of operations for the Church of Lourdes, they collect manuscripts detailing ancient ruins, rare weapons, spells, and mythology. It is said that when people arrived at Ovis 400 years ago, the mermaids living here fought against them with a spear of light. One document says beams of light from the sacred spear wielded by a beautiful mermaid sent hundreds of soldiers to their graves. We've been on this island since last summer, investigating whether a spear of that kind of power really exists. Unfortunately, others have also learned of this spear and are determined to obtain it. But why? Not Neris Betral, Lord of Renaculus? Yes, I don't know why he's looking for it. But, but if we want to establish a strong nation based on the teachings of Lodicism, then we'd best not let him get it before us. That's why we must speak to the mermaids and bring the spear to Gallias at any cost. Mr. Salinda. Yes, what's happened? Armed soldiers have arrived at Uru, Uru de la Cape. Okay, so I'm going to say something. I'm going to be a little bit spoilery here because we are getting close to it. And the reason I decided to put like Chess or whatever her name is, I don't know what her proper pronunciation is, on my team permanently. I was wondering if it would be possible to recruit Shivan, this guy. And yes and no, soon we are going to get a branching path option. On one path, you get to recruit Shivan. In another path, you get to recruit, well, one of the special five characters I keep talking about. And you may be thinking that those guys who've played the game already know. Yes, that's the point. People who've played the game already know which, who the most of these five characters are. Which is why I'm not saying it. Because people who don't know who these five characters are, are the guys that might get spoiled. So anyway, one of those choices will lead you down to recruiting Shivan. And the other choice leads you down to recruiting one of the characters that I want. Now, I did want Shivan to be my ninja, be the ninja on my team. But if I pick him, then I won't get access to my other character. And I really want the other character because Shivan is a ninja and the other character is a special class. So, uh, I'm not recruiting him. I'm not going to get the chance to recruit him. And therefore, I therefore I need leeches on my team. Soldiers of Renaculus? I'm not sure, but quite likely. Are they aware of our presence? They too may have discovered the relationship between the spear and the mermaids. That's a possibility. The locals are keeping out of sight. They're probably trying to avoid any conflict. I see. We must find a boat to take us to the mermaid sanctuary. Maybe if we drive away the soldiers, the locals will help us as a token of appreciation, as you wish. I thought that the Church of Lourdes only performed religious functions. I never imagined they'd be involved in such things. Don't ask too many questions. It's better that you don't know. You've already turned your back on Felis, right? then don't dwell on the past. Acknowledge your present situation and choose the best course of action. I know, I'll follow your orders. I'm grateful that you saved my life and I gave you my word, but, but what? Nothing, never mind. But you really hate the fact that no one tells you shit, isn't that right, Alphonse? Don't worry, I, I trust that as well. And yep, these are my five characters. All of them need all of them need the embodiment of desires emblem. Hold on. This one. I'm also going to have a hard time getting this. 
arbitration by persuading enemies. Oh boy, I'm gonna have a lot of trouble getting that. And I think with that, I will get to work on getting that. And I got only 100. So, anyway guys, that's it for this video. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. Dislike if you hated it. I'll hide your comment to let you know I've read them. So that's because I added your comment. Doesn't mean I agree with it. I'm Zulkares. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.